guys, so a lot of you have been asking if I could do a video on kind of how not to procrastinate or how I get myself motivated to do my schoolwork or to study or whatever. So I thought that I would kind of tell you what I do. Um, and to be completely honest, I do procrastinate from time to time. I mean, it's kind of a way of life. You get in those moods where you're like, I just don't want to do anything. I just want to lay in bed, watch TV all day, and I can do my homework or whatever tomorrow. But to kind of get myself motivated to do the work, I have to think about what I can do after I get it done. So if I'm, you know, have homework that I have to do or I have to study for a test, I like to get that out of the way because then later I can watch a TV show that I, you know, really like that's coming on or I can go hang out with friends or I don't know. The alternative is always so much better. So if I can just get all of my work out of the way to begin with, then I can do what I like to enjoy. Okay, and in my brain, I have like these two battles going on. It's on the one side, I never want to start, you know, actually doing my homework, writing a paper, studying for a test. I never actually want to start it. And then on the other side, I'm like, well, stressing about it, you know, stressing about not getting it done or when I'm going to start doing it or whatever. So it's always this constant battle going in my head of when I need to start it, what I need to do, you know, just all this stuff going on. So I find the sooner I get it done, then the less time I have to stress about it. But what I do is I set a date as to when I want to get it done. So for example, let's say I have a paper due. Um, you usually get like two weeks or something to write it. So I'll be like, okay, I want to have at least one week to write it and get it done. So I have to start by this date, start writing it by this certain date. So if I kind of make a date and stick to it, then you will more than likely start it on that date. I don't know, I do. So just make a starting date and make sure that you stick to it because otherwise you'll just, you know, want to do something else, which I know you're going to want to do something else, but I guess just somehow try and say, okay, this is the day I'm going to start it, so I'm going to start it. And if you have, I know in high school I usually had like a math quiz every single Friday or I had a certain piece of homework that was due on like every Tuesday or something. So if you have that, I would make kind of a schedule around like your work and your extracurricular activities to try and get a schedule, um, a routine for you just so that every week is the same and you don't really fall out of the routine. So let's say you do have a math quiz every single Friday. So say starting Wednesday, you're going to start studying for it and just always have a block of time on Wednesday that you're going to study for it and then a block of time on Thursday that you're going to study for it. Or say you always have something due on a Monday. Um, make time Saturday during the day, you're always going to do it. Or like Sunday morning, you're always going to do it before you get, you know, starting your day just so that you have a routine so that when you're in the routine, you kind of stick to it better once you kind of get the hang of it. So that's kind of what I do to get started. And then I somehow try to make it enjoyable for me. I know sometimes it is so difficult to get motivated to actually, you know, want to do this stuff because it's just so tedious sometimes and you just never want to do it. So I try to make it as enjoyable as possible. So maybe I'll go outside, you know, and do some of it if it's a nice day outside, you know, just sit in my driveway and I don't know, it's, whenever it's nice outside, I like being out there. The sun's shining and you hear the birds and it's just peaceful for me. And then um, if it's not a good day outside, I'll be in my room and just make it kind of a nice place to study or to do your homework. Like maybe have some candles or have some tea or coffee or something, um, a little snack just to kind of relax you and make it somewhat enjoyable for you to do. And if you like listening to music and you can get stuff done while listening to music, I can't. If I have to like study or read a chapter, I can't have music playing or I get distracted. But um, if you can, I would do that. I know it's really like calming and stuff. And if you have friends that are in class with you and you're, you know, able to do your work together, I would definitely get like a study group together and just be like, okay, every Wednesday night we're gonna get together, 
you know, for an hour and knock out all of this homework or we're gonna study for, you know, an upcoming test that we have. Whatever, because then it's always more fun when you are doing it with your friends. So that's kind of what I do and I always give myself kind of a little incentive to get it done as well. So if I get it done, then I'll be like, okay, I can watch this TV show from the other night that I haven't watched yet or I can, you know, make plans with friends or go shopping or something once I get this done. Then it's kind of an incentive for you to get it done. So I hope that this helped you guys and that you are able to use these and it helps you um, to avoid procrastinating as much as possible. I know it's kind of a thing that it happens. Trust me, it happens to me all of the time. I just never want to do it. You get in one of those moods, but you just try and stick to it and get through it and then you can do something that you really enjoy doing and want to do. So that is it for today and I will talk to you guys later. Bye! <music>